All right, welcome to the pigsty. I've already pulled apart my cedar, uh, which is the um, close engagement uh, data salt system. I believe that's what they call it. Anyway, I was looking uh, as to why I had air leaks and um, the things that I've come across are you know, pretty simple fixes. All right, so <clears throat> in terms of the barrel, what I found was is they just screwed the zero in here and they'd done it up rather tight and it was pinching against this O-ring here and it wasn't making like the best seal. Would advise what you do is get rid of the O-rings, to be honest. Um, coming to you, because I'm not a big fan of O-rings on barrels and stuff. It doesn't let you tighten them up properly. Grab yourself some Teflon tape, give it a few good winds um, around the barrel there, and um, you should eliminate that problem. Basically, that would be the first one that I'd say put Teflon tape on and actually get a proper seal happening on there. Uh, black O-ring and do the same thing. Apply a good amount of Teflon tape to it. Bit it there um, as well. And then um, you should be right as rain in terms of that's the front end of the blaster done. Um, and when you bolt it back together, you should have no air leaks. Um, I normally use a blue rubberized version of Teflon tape, but I've run out of that. And this isn't one of my high powered jobs. So this will just be a 12 kilo Springer. With reasonable power, it should be hitting around 200 to 220 FPS, um, depending on the darts I feed it. All right, so that now should plug that up as well. And I can actually now do it up properly by the looks of it. Okay. This bit can uh, go back into the blaster as being 100% non-leaky. So that should be the front end done, and then very quickly it's just the back end as well. I found that I uh, needed to uh, wrap the O-rings. I'll just show you guys. I needed to, sorry, wrap underneath the O-rings there some um, Teflon tape and put it back on to get uh, that to seal properly because that wasn't sealing properly. It was a very, very, very vague fit. Uh, so that's that. I can button up the top half now. Whenever you're doing up your screws too, people, on any shell, always reverse wind at first. And you should hear it clunk into place. And then once it's clunked into place, then you go forward. That means you're using the existing thread. You're not trying to tap a new one and your shell will last a lot longer. And never do them up more than finger tight. It's plastic. It doesn't like being over tightened. All right, so that's that bit done. I'll just get that out of there. Now, this bit here is always the fun bit because, um, this is the bit that always tends to bust the seal. So we'll see what's going on here. What I did do is if your O-ring here is not making a good seal all the time in the plunger tube, just grab yourself. Instead of using Teflon tape to try and get the O-ring to sit where you want, don't use a rubber band this big, but if you've got one that's maybe like that size and you can stretch it around the plunger head, so stretch it over, give it a twist, stretch it over, give it a twist, do it up, that'll actually make that O-ring sit in a more positive position so it doesn't have to move as far backwards and forwards along that stupid speed seal. All right, so having a look at that, because I've already done the plunger and the bits and pieces, come here, Mr. 12 kilogram spring. This is a AK Blaster Mod 12 kilogram spring. I'm curious to see what the turf one does, um, but from everything I've seen so far, it's not really excited me. There's that, there's that, there's that, 
Let's see if it holds that. Here. Good enough. All right. Still a little bit leaky in the plunger section, but that could have been because I don't have my thumb properly over the end there, or it could be here, because that is, honestly, I think that's the leaky weak point. All right, so that's in. I think that's about as good as I'm ever gonna get it. All right, um, so yeah, hope that helps.